My name is Brian Nylander. I was the design manager for the Challenger exterior. My name is Jeff Gale. I was lead exterior designer on the Dodge Challenger. Yeah, to get that to fit on the platform, there were you know, quite a few things. Like Jeff um, spoke before about the width of the car, just the overall height, the length, the proportions of the car. And trying to wrap that then around the LX package and some of the hard points that we had, you know, even in the interior too, because we had a theme established that basically looked back to the original Challenger. They established this new theme and the concept, but it wasn't exactly over all of the hard points of the LX package. So we really had to work to get, you know, the look and the feel of the interior around that new package. And the same with the, the exterior too. You know, as Brian said, getting it over the, the package, so to speak, you know, bumper beams, you have to make sure you meet legal criteria and then, of course, our internal criteria for meeting best practice. Um, aerodynamics was a huge one. I think everyone knows that the original Challengers weren't exactly the best as far as lift. And uh, <laughs> Brian and I spent a lot of time in the wind tunnel to get, uh, to get this vehicle aero capable and make sure that there wasn't, you know, make sure that there was a good balance of lift between front and rear and then you know balance that with coefficient of drag as well. I mean it's a performance car so you want to have the car stable at high speed so that was as far as you know loose package requirements goes that was a very important one so it was it was that was a big challenge for us but we managed to get something that we think is is uh, is pretty cool out of it. But speaking to aerodynamics there was one point in the process that we went through uh, we had a scale model of, of our productionized version of the concept car that we put into the wind tunnel and in that first test, part of the hood, the front fascia, the area over the headlights there, there's, you know, the grill and the headlights are set back. And that area above the headlights and the grill, back into the hood, about a third of the hood actually flew off in the tunnel. So we knew at that point how big of a challenge we were going to have with front lift and being able to keep the car on the ground in the front. Because as you know, front lift, you know, high speed, you don't want the car lifting or creating a light feeling on the front wheels. It's a huge feeling of understeer and actual understeer when you get into it. So that feeling on a track wouldn't be very good or even at high speed on the freeway. So that was kind of the telling point for us that we had a lot of work to do. So, mm -hmm. And we managed to get those numbers down through, you know, tweaking and tuning of where the surfaces lie, you know, even the angles, the amount of radii on some of the corners had, uh, you know, they were real sensitive and had a big part, big, a big role in, you know, playing down the, the, lift cap the lift characteristics of the vehicle. You know, obviously weight is a huge concern. You know, this is a two-door coupe. We've got to keep the weight down. And generally when you start a production program, usually the weight is pretty high because everyone's sort of put their parts and their pieces into it, and then you have to start optimizing from there. And uh, we started out, you know, obviously a little heavier than we thought we wanted to be, but just through, you know, working, especially with the engineering community, they really, they had the task of getting the weight down. And there were some opportunities here and there where we could help them out as far as, you know, certain um, styling or designs of certain components. Um, not only the exterior but also the interior um, that we were able to help them and really whittle the weight down and I think we've we've actually exceeded the target that we were going after. The more you lose weight on the vehicle the better it's going to perform, the better it's going to accelerate, the better it's going to handle just overall performance in general. If the lighter the vehicle the better off you are. So there was a very close interaction between design and engineering and then also marketing, product planning, um, you know all the other areas of the company and it was actually a really good team because uh, a lot of the people were enthusiasts and they were putting their passion into it and they were you know putting their heart and soul into it so it, it very much the team had sort of a, um, a spirit unto itself that maybe you don't normally find on any other program um, there, there was just a lot of excitement behind it so I think everyone was pretty willing to work together